Hi guys, good morning. So I wanted to show you guys my face real quick. I'm experiencing a little bit of breakout and stuff right now, but um, I just wanted to show you what I'm using to help combat that. And it is a St. Ives Blemish Control uh, Anti-Imperfections Apricot Scrub. Um, I've shown this, I reviewed this several times. I've showed it on my channel, but I never really talked about it too much in terms of it helping to fade imperfections or hyperpigmentation. My face goes through these phases where it'll be absolutely clean and I won't have any dark, dark spots at all. And then if I have um, a breakout and um, I if I end up squeezing any of them, then it creates like little hyperpigmentations. And you can see it there on my face. But if I leave it alone and I do take care of it, it clears up just like my forehead. My forehead is pretty clear. You can see a few of the marks that were on there as well but they're like basically gone like you cannot really oh. tell what i'm using is let me show you guys what i'm using to help get rid of the hyperpigmentation i'm using this ah the box is like falling apart i'm using the skin success even complexion soap with vitamin e and that is by palmers y'all sh should be familiar with palmers when it comes to like cocoa butter and stuff like that and then um i'm using the apricot scrub to scrub my face in between the use of the apricot scrub because that's a lighter scrub in between that i use this exfoliating one by clinique because this is a much rougher scrub but i wouldn't recommend that you use this very frequently because you don't want to damage your skin um, you need time for your skin to replenish or regenerate new skin cells in between using like vigorous things such as this on your face. So with that said, I also use, um, what is it? Let me show you. I also use, <laughs> I also use the Cetaphil. Ah, lighting is terrible. Lighting, lighting. It's all about the lighting. Oh, so with that said, I also use this Cetaphil um, oil control moisturizer. Where is the light? Where is the light? Oh my gosh. Oil control moisturizer. And I like this because it doesn't have a scent. It's um, ha It has SPF in it because I'm the worst at putting on SPF independently of makeup and whatever. So, um, and it has oily skin control which I tend to have especially in the summer so I find that it's really good for all of that this bottle is like 17 or 18 bucks here in Canada but it lasts a long time a little goes a long way and it really does just work my skin doesn't react in any way to it and I love it for that reason in fact for the girls I also let my kids use Cetaphil not this one per se they use the larger bottles and stuff for like facial moisturizer and things such of that nature another thing that I'm planning on implementing into my my this is a bit of a vlog as you can see it's not really a sit down video so sorry for that another thing that I plan on implementing in my routine again is this oil Hendrickson yeah oil Hendrickson truth serum the last time when I suffered from like a really, really big bad breakout or where it resulted in a lot of hyperpigmentation, I used this in assisting to the, remo the removal of those hyperpigmentation and my skin cleared up completely. Um, like I said, this is a result. Right now, these are actually really kind of like scabs, so they're not even the true color of the hyperpigmentation. It's not going to be this dark. It's just that they're kind of like scabbed over because they were just squeezed. So you can see like... That it's not a it's not that big of a deal and this is also a scab so that's the only reason why those are so dark but aside from that my skin is pretty clear and using doing those routines really help another thing that I should probably start using again is my um, Clarisonic I found that this was really good it's poor cleaning but since I've moved I haven't been able to find the base to plug it in so when I find that I'll get on that and start using that again but um, as for now I just want to show you those two main products was the main one for me like the staple is the St. Ives scrub right the the staple for me is this but this bad boy right here which retails for like four bucks it's so cheap like you can't go wrong with that the little one that I showed you for the Clinique is like 20 bucks and but it does go a long way because you don't need to use it all the time but this bad boy here is a staple and along with my soap because I feel like they really do, do the job at clearing up my face um, mind you like I said I have two breakouts right now and that came as those come as a result of me eating too much 
sugar and I really need to just kind of cut it out so <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this little video for the day and um, thank you all so much for watching much love bye guys